Hi, Ron Oglesby here, Chief Solution Architect with Unidesk, and today I want to talk a little bit about Unidesk and your VDI storage. Now, storage is often the most complicated and costly part of a VDI implementation. There's a lot of confusion around what do we do to handle disk I.O., how much storage do I require, what goes on, can I do this centralized, can I do it local, and there's a lot of FUD out there, fear, uncertainty, and doubt around storage in VDI environment and the vendors are playing off of this. Unidesk, interestingly enough, is not a storage vendor. Unidesk is a layering technology, a technology that allows you to build and create and manage desktops and applications. Our technology, our layers, are basically file system and registry virtualization, but a byproduct of the way we build desktops is to simplify your storage. Now let's hit on exactly what we can do from you on a storage side. First off, our shared technology, or our shared layer technology, allows many virtual machines to share a single gold image. This is not only simpler from a management perspective, but it also helps reduce the footprint of your VDI environment. This in turn reduces cost because when you go to handle disk I.O., you need to put it on fast disk, which is generally very expensive. Reducing footprint reduces the amount of fast disk you're going to need. The next item to know about Unidesk is that all of our layers are replicated and moved around the environment via TCP. We are not using the storage replication to move layers. We're using the network. This means we're completely storage agnostic. If you want to use a certain brand, EMC, NetApp, Equalogic, whatever, we're agnostic to it. If you want to use different architectures, Ron, we want to use local storage, we want to use centralized storage, we want to use a combination of local and centralized storage. Unidesk is fine with that. Because of the way we move and replicate our layers within our environments, we don't care what type of storage you have. This frees up the architects to make the right decisions on the right type of storage without worrying about whether the vendor can handle what they're trying to do or not. And the final thing I'd like to point out is that our data patterns, the Unidesk shared layer data patterns, are optimized for hybrid arrays. Those storage arrays that are mixing SSD and rotating disk and moving hot data into the SSD, Unidesk has optimized its system to perform unbelievably on these new arrays. So it's not unusual to see array at max capacity getting sub one millisecond response time from a Unidesk system. It's amazing. So now I want to jump into a quick demo and just show you a couple of things in the Unidesk interface and console. On my screen is one of my demo systems and what I want to do is first run a quick storage report. Now this storage report just shows on my simple system here uh, 30 or so desktops that I've been running on a single server that if they would have been provisioned as full clones would have taken six or seven hundred gigabytes of space. But these 32 desktops in my world are running on about 80 gig. Significant storage reduction, shrink that footprint down, get it onto the fast disk to supply the I.O. but do it at a lower cost. The other thing I want to show you is how layers, specifically the personalization layers, are right-sized. I'm going to jump to my system tab and run a report on my desktop specifications. Now I can do this on an individual desktop, but I want to generate a larger report. And these are all the desktops here. I can see a number of demo desktops, engineering desktops, etc. And as I scroll over to the right, you start to see this column personalization layer size and personalization layer snapshot size. These are in megabytes, but the interesting thing here is that all of my personalization layers in my entire environment are no less than eight gigabytes. We thin provision every layer. This is another piece of our storage savings. So if I was to look at all my desktops here, 793 meg, 500 meg, 400 meg, we are only storing the changes they make. Now this is unlike a VMware or a, a provisioning server redo log. These are actually fixed size. They can't grow any larger than a size that you determine, so you get a benefit there. But they're also thin provision, so you still get the benefit of thin provisioning. Big deal on the storage side. As I said, storage is the most complex and costly part of a VDI project. Unidesk can help you reduce the storage requirements and simplify your design while broadening choices that your architects can make on the VDI storage design. Thanks for watching. This is Ron Oglesby with Unidesk.